Hello, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, it's time to begin. Day. Okay, great. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Um, let me get everything ready here so we can begin. Attendance control, that's the first thing. Okay, 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 right here. Okay, we're going to start and I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay, and now the attendance list. Did you share? Yes. Dígame. Hola. Me escuchan. Casi que no está dando para teacher. Me escucha. Sí. Vaya. No eh... está sacando el sistema otra vez. Ah, de verdad. Aquí en la academia quizás no han pagado, va, no sé. Alguien me puede. Están cortando el internet. <risa> Le olvidó pagar el internet por ahí. Híjole, sí, no, no sé. Tengo 19 personas conectadas ahorita. Ok, vamos a llamar asistencia igual. Eh, si tienen dificultades para conectarse, pues ahí me van avisando por medio del chat. Digamos, eh, aquí estoy, ¿verdad? En caso que no escuchen su nombre. Ok, comenzamos. Enrique, perdón. Aquí vamos con Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Por adelantado, pero bueno, la vamos a poner de un solo aquí. Vamos a ver, Enrique. Ya ya ves, acá. No vaya a ser que le desconecte. Adán, presente. Ok. Thank you, Adán. Thank you, Enrique. Arles Ernesto. Arles Ernesto López. Paudilio Elenilson Rivera. Paudilio Elenilson Rivera. Uh, Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Alber Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Dice por mensaje que aquí está ya. Ok, vamos. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio, ¿Sí? dígame. Carlos, Carlos Alberto Santos, presente. Ok. Thank you. Uh, David Antonio Rosales García. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Uh, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alballero. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Ebert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente, teacher. Welcome. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. Docente, teacher. Welcome. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias, creo que aquí nos dijo, ya está aquí, ¿verdad? Good evening, teacher, presente. Good evening, welcome. Juan Francisco Arrasábal Calderón. Presente, teacher, y tengo interferencia con el internet, no sé por okay. qué. Ok, ok. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, welcome. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present, teacher. Welcome. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I Good am evening. Here. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. 
María Magdalena Cedillos González. Mauro sí. Orlando Vázquez. La sacó del sistema, tierra. ¿Perdón? La compañera Cedillos la sacó ahí de, de, de la clase. Ah, está, estaba, conectada. Ahí, no... estaba conectada, quizá, ¿verdad? Vale. Bueno, vamos a esperar. Voy a sí. pasar de nuevo asistencia. Ojalá logre conectarse nuevamente. Um, Mauro Orlando Vázquez, ¿segura? Present, teacher. Welcome. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Presente. Welcome. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Ahí está tratando de conectarse, teacher, ahorita. Ok, thank you. Salvador Manrique Hernández bien, Vázquez. Teacher. ¿Quién me dijo? María Magdalena. Ahí está, María Magdalena. Ok, thank you, María Magdalena. A uh, Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Ok, ok, welcome. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Presente, teacher. Hello, welcome. Ok, paso lista nuevamente, aquellos no me han, que no me han contestado aún. Eh, Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Oscar Susana no levanta la mano. Se está conectando. Ok. Oscar Susana, ¿quiere participar? Tiene la manita levantada. Presidente, teacher. Ok. Tengo problemas de conexión. Ok. Ya le tomamos asistencia. Muchas gracias. Eh, Cecia Gemima, no está. Edith Consuelo, represa Toledo. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin. No. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Hernández. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Bueno, entiendo algunos tienen problemas para entrar. Eh, igualmente, ya saben, pasamos lista posteriormente. Ahí les pueden indicar a los compañeros si todavía no han entrado y los, los están viendo ahorita en caso que ahí estén, eh, que cuando entren me avisen por mensaje para poderles tomar la asistencia. De acuerdo. Es más, lo voy a poner en el grupo de WhatsApp ahorita para que... Permítanme, ahorita voy a poner el mensaje. Ok, vamos entonces. Let's begin. Ok, this is inglés principiante. Bueno, vamos a, aquí tenemos chat. Vaya, cabal, como acaba de hacer José Amilcar, Reyes Cruz, presente, me dice por acá. José Amilcar, aquí está. Asistencia tomada. <risa> cabal. Ok, José Amilcar, ya está su asistencia. Thank you. Ok, this is inglés principiante, módulo 3, and that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session 15. And today is July the 12th of 2023 or 2023. Chat. Okay, you're welcome. Um, so why? what are we going to do here? Okay, just remember, we're, we were doing the exercises on was, wasn't, where, and weren't. Okay, so what are we going to do? You are going to complete the conversations with was, wasn't, where, and weren't, okay? Example, Peter says, I called you on Saturday, but you weren't home. Te llamé el sábado, pero no estabas en casa. And David says, no, I, if you know the answer, please let me know. ¿Cómo será? He said, no, I, 
Remember, you have to use was, wasn't, where, or weren't. Y les pongo las opciones. Need to use was, wasn't, where, and weren't. Okay. So what about David? ¿Qué dirá David ahí? Salvador Hernández. Uh, no, I did. I was no. the time. Ok, uh, pero el primero sería, no, I. No, I did. Uh, cuidado. Bueno, aprovecho ahorita, Salvador, le pongo asistencia. <laughs> Vaya, uh, <laughs> las opciones son nada más was, wasn't, were, and weren't. El didn't sería para utilizarlo con otros verbos, pero no con el verb be. Entonces, I call you on Saturday, but you weren't home. Entonces, David dice, no, I. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Uh -huh. And then I? I was in the mountains. I was in the mountains all weekend. Thank you, Salvador. Okay, Peter says, that's nice. Baudilio, ya lo vi conectado. Lo voy a poner ya aquí, que aquí está. Presentation. Okay. Sure. Hi, Baudilio. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh, Peter says, uh -huh. that's nice. Baudilio, your turn. Okay, Maria de Lourdes. <laughs> Maria de Lourdes? Okay. That's nice. Uh -huh. How was the weather there? How was the weather there? Correct. Okay, very good. And David says, if you know the answer, raise your hand, please. Baudilio. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah, correct. Okay, very good. And Peter says, raise your hand. What does Peter say? Enrique. Peter, Peter, uh, where your parents here? There. Were your parents there? Ahí estaban tus papás. They said, were your parents there? Thank you, Enrique. That's correct. And David says, what does David say? Raise your hand if you know. Maria de Lourdes. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. I was alone. Mm -hmm. It was great. No, they weren't. I was alone. It was great. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Correct answers, everybody. Good job. Okay, very good job. Okay, that's conversation one. Now, conversation two. <laughs> what about this one? So, um, what is Sue's question? No sé si Salvador quiere participar o le quedó levantada la manita. Perdón, me quedó levantada la mano. Me quedó levantada. Vale. Le va a doler si la, la deja ahí levantada. Okay, so, um, what about uh, Sue, number two? What does Sue say? Le está preguntando directamente a Wendy. Karen Yulisa. When were you born in the use, Wendy? It's only one word, solo es una palabra. It's a okay. yes no question. When. Entonces sería when you. No. Hi. Remember, your options are was, wasn't, where, and weren't. Only that. Entonces sería where, where you born is in the, in the US. US, Wendy. Uh -huh. Were you born in the US, Wendy? Okay, correct. Thank you, Karen. What about Wendy? Wendy says, hmm? raise your hand if you know the answer. What does Wendy say? Maria Magdalena. Yes, I was my brother and I was born in New York. Careful. My brother and I. Ah, my brother. <laughs> my brother huh? and I. My brother and I. And I was born. Okay. Take a look. When we say... 
I is I, okay? When I say my brother, that's he. But when I say my brother and I, what is that? He. And I, he was. Be careful. When we say my brother and I, this is the equivalent of we. Mm -hmm. Entonces no podemos ocupar was. Si solo fuera I, entonces sí, I was. Si solo fuera my brother, entonces sí, my brother was, porque sería he was. Pero cuando decimos my brother and I, ya eso se convierte en we, nosotros. Así que no podemos usar was. Sería my brother I and wearing, I. I uh, wearing. Weren't, are you sure? I wear. Ah, I man. wear, teacher. I okay. wear born here <laughs> in New York. Okay, thank you. Este, thank you. En el teléfono casi no miro. Ah, okay. Sorry. Okay, su pregunta. Were you born in the U.S., Wendy? And Wendy says, yes, I was. My brother and I were born here in New York. Mi hermano y yo nacimos aquí en Nueva York. Okay, so Sue says, what does Sue say? You know, raise your hand, please. Maria de Lourdes. I was born here too. What about your parents? Were they born here? I was born here too. What about your parents? Were they born here? Correct. Thank you, Maria de Lourdes. What about Wendy? What does Wendy say? Raise your hand. What does Wendy say? <clears throat> okay. Okay, Maria Lourdes was uh, the last time. I'm going to give the opportunity to Salvador. And then Maria Lourdes, and then Cecia. Cecia, aprovechando, le voy a poner asistencia. Me anda por acá. Okay, so uh, Salvador, then Maria Lourdes, and then, bueno, no sé si Cecia quería participar o solo decirme que ya vino. O ambas. Sí, participa. Okay, good. So, Salvador. Well, my father wasn't Take a look, take a my look. Father wasn't. Were they born here? You say, well, my father. Say, mi papá, sí, les. my father. My father. Ah, sorry, perdón, dice luego, born in China. That is correct, okay, my, my father wasn't. Yo me estaba right. adelantando por no leer. Okay, correct, Salvador. Uh, my father wasn't. Can you continue? Well, my father wasn't. Uh -huh. He was born in China. But he was born mother, in China, uh -huh, but my mother. But, but my mother was born in the U.S. in Chicago. Correct. Okay, very good. Ya ven, por no fijarse, uno comete errores. Yo por no fijarme estaba diciéndole que no era esa y esa era. Well, my father wasn't. He was born in China, but my mother was born in the U.S. in Chicago. Correct answers. Thank you, Salvador. Uh, Cecia, the last one. Sue says, Chicago? Really? Chicago? Really? My parents were born in Chicago too. My parents were born in Chicago too. They were born in Chicago too. Correct. Very good. And there is conversation number three. Okay. Nancy. Nancy asks, what does Nancy ask? Aprovechando voy a hacer un llamado aquí rapidito. Está por acá um, Erika Beatriz, todavía no. Franklin de la O, creo que no. José Benjamín, perdón, sí, José Benjamín Gavidia. Todavía no está por acá. Santos Mauricio Arias, aún no. Ok, seguimos esperándolos. Number three, uh, Cecia, do you want to participate? Um, 
Sí, que tengo una pequeña confusión. Dígame. Espera. What you in college last year, Chuck? I'm Pero sorry? suena es raro. Again, again, please. Was you? Mm -mm. Para mí suena más were you in college last mm -hmm. year, Chuck? That's correct. ¿Por qué were you? Porque con los sujetos we, you, and they ocupamos where. Y con I, he, she, and it, ocupamos was. So, were you in college last year, Chuck? And Chuck says, thank you, Cecia. Chuck says, raise your hand if you know. ¿Quién nos ayuda? Enrique. Yeah. Chuck. No. I was, I grown a graduate for a uh, long college. Two years ago. So, entonces sería, no I. No I was. But if you say no I was, it's negative, positive. Oh, eh, negative. Ah, entonces sería, no I. Was, wasn't. No I wasn't. Okay, ah. I graduated from college two years ago. Thank you, Enrique. Ah. Nancy, what does Nancy say? What does Nancy say? Ever. So, where, where last year? Where were you last year? Okay, thank you, Enrique. Correct, Ever Enrique. Uh, what does Chuck say? Mm -hmm. What does Chuck say? Cecia. I was in France. I was in France. Okay, that's correct. And Nancy says, oh, okay. So um, who knows this one? Raise your hand, please. Maria Lourdes. Oh, were you in Paris? Were you in Paris? Okay, correct. Thank you. And Chuck says, no, I... Who knows? Ebert Aristides and then Maria Magdalena. Chuck says? Chuck says, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. And he then? was, it's night, I how to hear. Uh, I, again, please, I'm sorry, I? I was. I was. I was. Mm. It's night, I how in hope hear. I had a job there. Tuve un trabajo ahí. Solo que este no se pronuncia nice porque este es, este es un lugar que, si no me equivoco, está en Francia, creo yo, pero no estoy seguro. Se dice Nice. Es una ciudad. Nice. Ajá. Nice. Pero da la no, casualidad no, que, se, que, que, el, que el, el spelling es igual que la palabra nice en inglés. Pero es nice. I was in Nice. I had a job there. Por eso aparece en mayúsculas, si se fijan. I was in Nice. Okay, so, um, ¿quién iba después? Me había levantado la manita antes de José Amilcar. Creo que había sido, no me acuerdo aquí. <laughs> okay, pero me bajaron la mano. Um, José Amilcar, okay, Nancy says. I have a question. Ah, what's your question? Eh, eh, la diferencia podría ser, este... El hecho para poderla diferenciar, creería yo que siempre por ser el, un nombre propio estaría en mayúscula, la inicial. Uh -huh, Esa puede uh -huh. ser una diferencia. Uh -huh. A menos okay. que fuese la primera palabra de la oración, ahí se sí. llevaría mayúscula también. Ajá. Eh, pero sí, es una Correcto. ciudad. Correcto. Quiero Thank ver teacher. dónde es que está esto. Where is Nice? Yeah, it's in, in France. Apple. Mm, si está en Francia. It's in Nice, it's in France. Okay, um, Enrique. Le di una cuestión, teacher, relacionado siempre a lo que dice el, ahí el compañero Milcar, mm -hmm. relacionado a Nice. Eh, eh, me llama la atención cuando dice que se pronuncia Nice. Mm -hmm. Por eh, dentro de una lógica deductiva es que en Francia tengo que hablar francés mm -hmm. y, y ellos. Ellos lo pronuncian Nice. 
No, lo en que... Estados Unidos no creo que lo pronuncia Nice. Mm, ajá, la cuestión es que eh, Nice es el nombre de este lugar. Aquí aparece en la foto. Este es Nice. Oh, yeah. Entonces, es un lugar en pero, Francia. Es el nombre del lugar. Ajá, se dice Nice. Oh, okay. nice. Pero, la, pero si no fuese el nombre del lugar y estamos ocupando el adjetivo que es Nice en inglés, entonces se pronuncia Nice. Es Gracias. una coincidencia que se escriban igual. Ajá. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Por acá nos dice Saúl Ernest, perdón, Santos, eh, Mauricio Arias, que ya se conectó. Y ok, ok, perfecto. Dice Santos Mauricio, estaba impartiendo una clase y hasta ahorita terminé. Sí, así veo la cámara. Este <ríe> es un salón de clase. Ok. ¿Qué es cámara de seguridad? All right, so what, what about the next one? What does Nancy say? ¿Qué dice Nancy? What does Nancy say? Mm -hmm. Enrique. Teacher, yeah. Yes. Nancy. Is there. What? What was the job? What was the job? Hey. Correct. Okay. What was the it, job? It was porque se refiere a, a ello, un trabajo. Así es. Mm -hmm. It. Teach. What was it? Okay. What was the job? Okay. Correct. Tenemos por el chat acá. Tengo micrófono, dice Franklin de lado presente. Ok, Franklin. Gracias por avisar. ¿Dónde está? Ah, ya lo vi. Ok, Franklin de lado. Thank you. Nos faltan solo dos personas. Aprovecho y pregunto. Está por acá Erika. Erika Beatriz. Ahí está, ya la vi. Presente, presente, teacher. Ok, welcome. Está por acá José Benjamín Gavidia. José Benjamín Gavidia, solo él nos falta ya. Yeah. Ojalá se conecte. Ok. Uh, Chuck says, what about the last one? What does Chuck say? Cecia. I was a front desk agent at a hotel. I was a front desk agent at a hotel. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Kind of like a receptionist. Okay, so I was a front desk agent at a hotel. Very good. Let's continue. Listening activity. Okay, there's a listening activity right here. Let me check on one thing. It's 728. Um, I think we're okay. Yes. We're okay. So, um, listening activity. Where were these people born? Okay. When were they born? Listen and complete the chart. So, you have the people Michelle Yeo, Apollo Ono, Giselle Bunchen, and Gael Garcia Bernal. So, you have to listen carefully and you have to tell me the place of birth. Where were they born? For example, Michelle Yeo, Malaysia. And the year of birth, el año de nacimiento. Pay close attention and write down the year of birth. I am going to play the track twice. Please take notes, okay? Por favor, apunten eh, cada uno de ellos. All right, let's begin. Me avisan si escuchan. One. Did you hear that? One? Yes, okay. Hi. One. Do you know that actress Michelle Yeoh? Yeah, she was in the movie Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That was a great movie. I'm reading this article about her. Did you know she was born in Malaysia? No, I didn't. Yeah, she was born in Malaysia in 1962. Two. Do you know very much about Apollo Ono? Apollo Ono? I don't think so. Who's he? He's a speed skater. He got gold and silver medals in the Olympics. Where is he from? Japan? No. Actually, he was born in the U.S., in Seattle. Is he young? Well, he was born in 1982. 
three. You know that really tall model, Giselle Bunchen? Is she from Australia? I don't know. Let me check this website on celebrities. No, it says here she was born in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. Oh, yeah? What else does that website say? Like, how old is she? Well, she was born in 1980, so this year she is... Four. I just love Gael Garcia Bernal. He's a terrific actor. What? Who? Gael Garcia Bernal, the Mexican actor. He was in The Motorcycle Diaries. That was a great movie. Hmm. I don't know that movie. Uh, how old is this? What's his name? His name's Gael Garcia Bernal. And he was born in 1978. In 1978? He's just a baby. And I don't like the movies today. Now, 20 years ago, they made some really good movies. Why, I remember. Okay. Uh, do you need to listen a second time? No. 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 Okay. So Did what check. about, yes, Enrique? Please, one more time. One, one more time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A petición, ahí vamos. One. Do you know that actress Michelle Yeoh? Yeah. She was in the movie Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That was a great movie. I'm reading this article about her. Did you know she was born in Malaysia? No, I didn't. Yeah. She was born in Malaysia in 1962. Two. Do you know very much about Apollo Ono? Apollo Ono? I don't think so. Who's he? He's a speed skater. He got gold and silver medals in the Olympics. Where's he from? Japan? No. Actually, he was born in the U.S., in Seattle. Is he young? Well, he was born in 1982. Three. You know that really tall model, Giselle Bunchen? Is she from Australia? I don't know. Let me check this website on celebrities. No, it says here she was born in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. Oh, yeah? What else does that website say? Like, how old is she? Well, she was born in 1980, so this year she is... Four. I just love Gael Garcia Bernal. He's a terrific actor. What? Who? Gael Garcia Bernal, the Mexican actor. He was in The Motorcycle Diaries. That was a great movie. Hmm. I don't know that movie. Uh, how old is this? What's his name? His name's Gael Garcia Bernal. And he was born in 1978. In 1978? He's just a baby. And I don't like the movies today. Now, 20 years ago, they made some really good movies. Why, I remember. Okay. So, um, how about... Uh, how about Michelle Yeoh? She was born in Malaysia in what year? If you know, raise your hand, please. Salvador Hernandez. 1992. 1992. Yes. Mm. No, not really. But thank you for participating. It's a different year. Cecia. 1962. 1962. Okay, yeah, that's correct. So if she was born in 1962, how old is she now? Mm 
Viste cuarto. Sorry. María de Lourdes. Place of beer. Ah, okay, okay. Um, okay, okay. Apollo Ono, what's the place of birth? U.S. Seattle. Seattle. Okay, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And the year of birth? 1982. 1982. 1982. Okay, yeah. 1982. Okay, so um, I think Cecia wanted to say something. ¿Cuántos años tiene Michelle Yeo? Uh -huh. How old is Michelle Yeo? 62. 62. Should be 61, I believe. Uh -huh, 61 years old. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what about Apollo Ono? Okay, uh, how old is Apollo Ono now? Rodilio? How old is Apollo Ono? A microphone. Is forty one. He's forty one. Yeah, that's right. And el supuesto que ya haya cumplido año. Okay, he's forty one. All right, thank you. Do you know number three, Bolivia? Giselle yeah. Dungeon. Where was she born? <clears throat> Sao Paulo, Brazil. She was born in Sao Paulo, Brazil. When was she born? What? When? When was she born? What's the year of birth? Oh, solo alcancé a escuchar. Ninety-five. Okay. Um, who can help us? Enrique Perez, and then Maria de Lourdes. Enrique. Enrique. Um, okay. Ajá. Eh, dice Sao Paulo. Eh, ya yeah, vir este. Eh, 1938. 1938. Yeah. Oh my God, no. <laughs> She's much younger than that. Es mucho más joven que eso. Y una super abuelita ahorita, Giselle Bunchen, pero todavía no. <laughs> todavía no llega. Uh, let's see, María de los Urdes. 1980. 1980. Okay, yeah, that's right. So, how old is Giselle Bunchen now? She's. 42 years old. 42. Are you sure? Because we're in we're in 2023, so I believe she's 43, actually. Mm -hmm. she will 42. Be like 40, 42. Yeah. Ah, bueno. Sí, porque no sé la, la fecha de nacimiento. Bueno, ya, ya lo investigó. <laughs> okay. So 42 or, well, this year she turns 43. Okay, no sé cuándo, pero cumpleaños 43. So, uh, Giselle Bungeon, thank you. And the last one, Gael Garcia Bernal, como dicen ellos, Gael Garcia Bernal. So, uh, what about Gael Garcia Bernal? Where was he born and in what year? Valdilio, do you want to participate again? Yes. Okay, yes. yes. <laughs> and Mexican. He was born in Mexico. Mexico. What year? Okay, and 1978. 1978, okay. So how old is Gael Garcia Bernal now? Uh, 45. 45, yeah, he will be 45 years old. Okay, good. Here we go. Everybody, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's continue.
uh, next uh, part, this is uh, lesson objective 5.6. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using negative contractions. Final de esta clase aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen abreviaciones negativas. This is just a, a listening part, pronunciation, negative contractions. Listen and practice. Here we go. One syllable. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Okay. Now, listen. Uh, here's the pronunciation of negative forms. Aquí solo hay una sílaba. Decimos aren't. Aren't. No decimos aren't, sino aren't. Aren't. Don't. One syllable. Weren't. Weren't. One syllable. Can't. One syllable. Two syllables. Isn't. Isn't. Doesn't, doesn't, wasn't, wasn't, two syllables. Didn't, didn't, two syllables. So careful with that. Uh, I want you to listen and practice. Listen, please. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. We have a chat entry here. Ever Aristide dice que tiene problemas de señal. Híjole. Bueno, siempre que lo saquen, eh, vuelvan a entrar, porque cada minuto que estén conectados cuenta para su asistencia. Acuérdense que Zoom les va contando cada minuto, cada minuto, y eso es su porcentaje de participación al final. Okay, um, so you have, they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't the swimsuits. They can't swim. And he wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. I need uh, four volunteers to read the sentences. A volunteer to read sentence number one. Solo para practicar la pronunciación. Voluntario que me lea la primera oración. Por favor, practice your pronunciation. Enrique. Uh, number one. Number one. I didn't eat Tyler because they weren't hungry. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. They weren't hungry. Weren't hungry. Okay. Thank you, Enrique. What about number two? Volunteer, please. Volunteer. Voy a continuar yo, Tiche, para, para practicar. Sí, 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 porque no le van a quitar la oportunidad por acá, mira, todo al mismo tiempo que... Ajá, dele, porfa, de ahí va Odilio, number three. Ok, Enrique, ajá. I don't, I don't like coffee and she doesn't like it. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Ok, Paudilio and then Salvador, ok. Paudilio, number three. And um, don't the third one, number three, this one here. These aren't aren't their swim suits. Swim suits. Swim suits. Swim suits. Swim suits. Okay. These aren't their swim suits. They they can't swim. They can't swim. Okay, thank you, Baudilio. Now, Salvador Hernandez, the last one. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Okay, he wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Okay, thank you very much. Let's continue. 745, wow, we only have 15 minutes. Let's do this. One Conversation, where did you grow up? Okay. That's a conversation right there. Where did you grow up? We're going to review the question form of past simple and also the past of the verb be. 
Okay. So conversation, where did you grow up? Listen and practice. I want you to listen. Then we're going to uh, read it together. And then I will ask for volunteers to read it for the class. So let's listen to it. Page 103, exercise six, conversation. Where did you grow up? Listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Mm. Okay. So that's the conversation. Where did you grow up? Donde creciste? Okay. Where did you grow up? Listen and practice. I need uh, two volunteers to uh, read the conversation. One boy, one girl, please. One girl to read Melissa's part and one boy to read Chuck's part. Okay. We have Baudilio. You're going to be Chuck. And one lady, please, to read Melissa's part. Volunteer, please. Please, pretty please, with sugar on top. Thank you, Cecia. Okay, so uh, Cecia, you're Melissa. Let's begin. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And where did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. 1990. 1990. I went to college here. To college. To college. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years. After college. 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 Uh -huh. That's interesting. So why did you become an hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you mean? What do you think? Well, um... <laughs> Como que no mucho. Okay, so uh, thank you, Baudilio and Cecia. All right, Melissa says, so Chuck, where did you grow up? Donde creciste? Chuck says, I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. También nací ahí. Melissa says, and when did you come to Los Angeles? Chuck says, in 1990. I went to college there. Fui a la... College is como casi como la universidad. I went to college there. Melissa says, oh, what was your major? Ahora, ¿qué es el major? Aquí hay que tener cuidado. La palabra major es como la carrera que lleva alguien en la universidad, pero no tan específico. Es más bien como, um, ¿cómo les puedo explicar? No es la carrera exacta, exacta, sino más bien el, 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 el rango general de la carrera. Por ejemplo, drama, ¿verdad? Drama. Hay gente que estudia educación, education, eso sería el major. Hay gente que estudia leyes, law, ¿ok? Ahora, el nombre de la, de, de, de la carrera que lleva propiamente ya es, ya es más específico, pero el nombre general de lo que estudia, eso es el major. Tengan cuidado de no confundir major con career. Career es diferente. Career um, es lo que usted hace, es su trabajo, ese es su career. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, ¿qué pasó cuando yo estudié en la universidad? Major, ¿ok? Uh, era English teaching, ese era mi major, ¿ok? Era la enseñanza del idioma inglés. ¿Ok? What's my career? ¿Ok? English teacher. Right? Ahí está. Es lo mismo lo que uno estudia que lo que uno se dedica. Entonces les digo para no confundir porque muy seguido veo que la gente confunde el major con el career. Probablemente porque en español decimos carrera a lo que uno estudia. Entonces carrera y career se parecen, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, eh, pero no es lo mismo, no es lo mismo. La carrera universitaria es el major y el career es su profesión o a lo que se dedique en general, ¿verdad? Para ganarse la vida. Eso es career. ¿Ok? Así que si a mí me dicen, what's your career? Yo digo, ah, I'm an English teacher. Ahí está. So, uh, what was your major? Uh -huh. o ¿Cuál era su, su carrera o qué estudiaba, verdad? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Melissa says, that's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? ¿Por qué te volviste estilista? And Chuck says, because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? And Melissa says, well, uh, <laughs> all right. Cabello mero extremo. All right. Uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Tienen alguna pregunta acerca del vocabulario? No questions? No questions. Okay, then. Let's move on. Page one. Lesson objective. Look, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and were. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. En este, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a hacer y responder preguntas, preguntas interrogativas, dice, pero son preguntas abiertas WH con did, was, and where. Además, practicarán una conversación, que ya lo acabamos de hacer, la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. So, um, take a look. This is the grammar focus. Hoy no les tengo información adicional porque ya lo vimos, esto, prácticamente, así que no les tengo más, pero sí les tengo un ejercicio. Grammar focus. WH questions with did, was, and where. Ahora, ¿cómo se ocupa esto? Vamos a hacer un poco de memoria acá. <coughs> did lo va a utilizar usted en past simple para hacer la pregunta, ya sea yes, no question o information question. Excepto, por supuesto, cuando se trate del verb be. Si se trata del verb be, no vaya a utilizar did, porque no va. Acuérdese que con did, perdón, con el verb be, eh, ya tiene su propia forma de pregunta. Y para hacer la pregunta, solo cambia de lugar el sujeto y el verbo y ya tú. Ok, so take a look. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? Ahora, si ustedes se acuerdan, cuando ustedes hacen una pregunta en past simple, van a utilizar did, luego el sujeto, y luego va el verbo, ¿en qué forma? Quiero ver quién me dice. ¿En qué forma va el verbo en la pregunta? Past simple. Wilber. En su forma base. En su forma base, así es. Nunca me vayan a utilizar el verbo en pasado para hacer una pregunta. El verbo en pasado solo se ocupa en qué circunstancias? ¿Quién me dice? ¿Cuándo va a utilizar usted el verbo en pasado? En forma pasada. María de Lourdes. Cuando es una afirmación. Así es. Cuando... Así es. Solo en oraciones afirmativas usted va a utilizar el verbo en pasado. Si es una oración negativa o si es una pregunta, entonces va a utilizar el verbo en forma base. Ok, nunca olviden eso. So, where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? And you have the answers. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Now look, this is an affirmative sentence. So you have to use the verb in past form. This is an irregular verb. It's the past of grow. I grew up in Texas. Second question. When did you come to Los Angeles? When did you come to Los Angeles? The answer is, I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Okay, I came. This is the past of come. This is an affirmative sentence, so you have to use the verb in past. Why 
did you become a hairstylist? Remember, become is volverse, convertirse. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, needed. This is an affirmative sentence. So you use the verb in past. They said, porque necesitaba el dinero, les. I needed the money. Okay. Así que acuérdense, solo en oraciones afirmativas van a ocupar el verbo en pasado. En las negativas, no. Lo van a ocupar en forma base. Y en las preguntas, también en forma base. ¿Y qué nos va a indicar en las negativas y en las preguntas que estamos ocupando el past simple? El auxiliar que es did para la pregunta y didn't en la oración negativa. Cuando usted vea el did, ah, eso es pasado. Cuando vea didn't, ah, es pasado también, pero en forma negativa. But what about the verb be? ¿Qué pasa con el verb be? De nuevo les digo, con el verb be, no vayan a ocupar nunca did ni didn't. Enrique. Yes, what's your question? Creo que... Ahí me dice, si me equivoco... Uh -huh. eh, cuando uno hace una pregunta se pone eh, o, o comienza con la palabra guay uh -huh. y cuando contesto eh, que también significa por qué contesto uh -huh. Ajá, ¿Sí? ajá. Yes. Se, eh, es así va así es tomando, okay. tomando como ejemplo esta parte de, o la última oración ahí de que tenía. así es uh, why es ¿Por qué? Sí. And because means ¿Por qué? Cuando contesto. Ajá, así es. Utiliza why para pedir una razón, para hacer una pregunta, y because para dar la razón, es decir, para dar la respuesta. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Gracias. Ok, you're welcome. So, why? ¿Por qué? Because, ¿por qué? Ok, para contestar. That's correct. Ok, buena observación ahí, ¿verdad? So, why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Mm -hmm. Porque necesitaba el dinero, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, any other questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No more questions? Ok, so uh, the next part. Ok, this is the verb B. Take a look. You have how old were you in 1990? Ahora, con el verb be, mucho cuidado, ¿verdad? No van a ocupar did. Nunca con el verb be. Con el verb be, lo único que van a hacer es que van a cambiar de lugar el sujeto y el verb be ya estuvo. Si nosotros decimos you were, eso sería afirmativo. La pregunta es, were you? How old were you in 1990? ¿Cuántos años tenías en 90? ¿verdad? Acuérdense que en inglés... Para expresar la edad, no ocupamos el verbo tener, no es have, sino que ocupamos el verb be. Y si es en pasado, vamos a ocupar el verb be en pasado. How old were you in 1990? The answer is, I was 18. In 1990, I was five. <laughs> five years old. So, um, let me ask you the question. Un par de personas que me contesten. How old were you in 1990? I was five. How old were you in 1990? Baudilio. One year. One year old. Okay. Were you born in 1989? Were you born in 1989? Yeah. Ah, okay, 1989. Maria de Lourdes, how old were you in 1990? I was 10 years old. I was 10 years old. Okay. In my case, I was five, five years old. Okay. Cecia, how old were you in 1990? I was 12 years old. I was 12 years old. Y si ya andaban por acá por el 90. Ay, viejita. Ya no están tan joven. No, mentiras. <laughs> <laughs> Usted no dice eso mucho, teacher. Hmm. No, pero yo ya estoy, ya, ya tengo mis añitos también, ya este mes cumplo 38. <laughs> ok, lo digo en broma, <laughs> nadie se me ofenda. Ok, so, uh, what was your college, what was your major in college? What was your major in college? ¿Cuál fue su carrera? ¿Qué estudió más bien? What was your major in college? It was drama. It was drama. And how was college? ¿Cómo estuvo, verdad, la U? How was college? 
It was great, you say. It was great. Okay, listen, it's 8 p.m., so we're going to stop here. Pero mañana tenemos un ejercicio que es que va a estar no tan fácil, <laughs> pero, pero vamos a tratar de trabajarlo en grupitos también, porque es un poquito poquito largo. No largo, pero sí requiere aplicar todo lo que hemos visto acá. Antes de marcharnos, voy a tomar asistencia acá por última vez. Solo uno me falta. Está por acá José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. ¿Está por aquí? Creo que no. Ok. Bueno, los demás aquí estamos. Traten de no perder. Acuérdense que mañana tenemos la última perdón, la última clase del nivel. Así que eh, cada minuto que ustedes están conectados cuenta para aumentar su porcentaje de participación, lo cual es un requisito, ¿verdad? Para pasar al siguiente nivel. Así que si usted, digamos, no ha estado muy, muy, eh, por razones de fuerza mayor, ¿verdad? No ha estado eh, muy presente en clases, pues aprovechemos. Mañana todavía tenemos la última oportunidad para agregarle ahí 60 minutos a su participación, ¿verdad? Entre más pronto se conecte, mejor. Y pues acuérdese que la plataforma hay que trabajarla. Ya yo creo que el día de hoy ya tendría que estar terminada. Si no, pues metámosle a eso. El día de mañana terminamos la sección y además vamos a hacer una retroalimentación del final test, ¿verdad? Para que no nos quede ahí ninguna duda sobre los contenidos de este nivel. Así que por favor, eh, no se vayan a perder la clase mañana por nada, que ya sería la última. Entonces, hoy es miércoles, ¿verdad? Sí, Ajá, entonces mañana es la última, jueves 13. Ok, everybody, thank you very much, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.